All right, we're gonna flip a coin to see who goes first in this competition. Heads is Tika, tails, Bagara. Tails, Bagara's up first. Welcome back to Rotune, guys. Today we're shooting 50 yards, but we have a head-to-head -head competition between Bagara B14R and our Tika T1X. We already flipped the coin. And the Bagara is going first. We're shooting SK rifle match, and the conditions are amazing right now. Zero wind, sun is setting. We have just enough time to shoot before the sun goes down. Let's get to shooting. So as you can see, nothing is moving. There's no wind. This is like the total ideal time to be shooting right now. So here we are going head to head. Tika versus Bagara and SK rifle match. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot four or five shot groups. One, two, three, four. And that'll get us all fouled in. And our last group down here will be 10 shot group. We flip the coin, the Bergar goes first. So we start here, we'll work our way down. And we'll switch over, all the same lot number. Let's get the shooting. I hate this SH4, this Arkin sucks. I don't know why it's so fuzzy. It's almost like it's at the end of its travel. Like, you know, when you crank a scope up and it hits the end and you're looking at like through the edge of the glass. Brutal, man. I tell you, that's awful. But it is what it is. And let's get to shooting. Top target. Five shots in that circle. Shooting way high. I'll adjust for that after the five shots, but we'll still count that. Ooh, same hole. Pretty good group. Can't complain about that. So drop back down. Now I'll move off to the right and we'll do five more. Like I said, zero wind. You see the smoke sitting right beside me here. This one's opening up a little bit. Oh, not too bad though. Bergara, killing it. Now let's move down a little bit farther. Get our platform nice and stable. Our natural point of aim. Here we go.
solid group there. That's freaking amazing. All right, let's move back down a little bit farther. That's a beautiful group though. That's a one hole group. Definitely a point two. Maybe even a point one. Well, let's see when we measure them at the end. It's the head, head to head showdown. All right, group number four. Thing is shooting very good today. That is awesome. Cannot complain about that. Very good groups. And that one, that one is very nice. So we have 10 more shots. And then we go over to the Tika T1X. We'll do the exact same procedure. And then we will calc we'll measure all the groups and compare them at the end. And the winner's the winner. End of story. And the winner, I think, should go on and maybe try competing against the CZ457. We'll throw the IBI barrel on it. But uh, I don't know. My CZ shoots like this the odd time, but this thing is hammering. So we'll do our 10 shots. And then we'll get the Tika T1X out. So once again, let's get our natural point of aim. Rifle nice and stable. I'm not moving anywhere. Man, this optic is brutal. I'll take a picture through the lens after just to show you guys. Like, this is terrible. Here we go. Well, regards the shooter, this is going to be a real tough one. Well, now I'm going to get you guys look through this because this is freaking brutal. And then I'll set up the Tika and I'll show you guys what I see through that. Now, if you can see that fuzzy kind of haziness, that's what I see through this scope. You can see off the side of the screen how clear it is. And you look through the scope, it's like, 
hazy, kind of like dulled down color. And I'll show you through the razor. Now, I don't know if you can see how much clearer that is and also how fat that reticle is. Totally takes up most of the target. So see how much better and brighter it is. That's exactly how the EDPRS is by Discovery as well. But there you go. Now the T1X, I'm kind of nervous for it, to be honest. That Bagara really, really shoots and it shoots pretty much everything really good. So this thing has got its work cut out for it now. And plus, I still haven't found any 10 round mags or 13 round mags. Any companies out there that have any 13 round mags or 10 round mags they want to send me, I might even pay for them. Obviously, I'll pay for them. But yeah, hit me up if you have any 10 round mags, because I don't have any. Now, can the Tika T1X compete? Every time I shoot this, I realize how small the eye box is in this scope. Like, move just a just a hair, and you're uh, you can't see nothing. And that was really smooth. Yeah, we picked one up. You can really feel it in the Bagara. This one you can't feel, and you pick around up. All right, natural point of aim. Just give it all the chances we can. This trigger is way lighter. Here we go, three, two, one. Holy shit, that was a pretty solid group. Wow. Head to head is right. I honestly don't think the CZ can compete. That'll be the next one though. Whoever wins this challenge goes on to challenge the CZ457 LRP. Group number two. Wow, it's gonna be right down to the tenth of an inch, I think, for sure. Maybe a hundredth of an inch. We were going here. Pretty much five in one hole on both guns, except for group two. So so far the Tika is killing it, but we still have another twenty more rounds to fire. So things can go real south real quick, as we all know, shooting rim fire. But so far, very impressed. Some people say it's just the stock, but I don't know. Maybe I should get another one for the Bergara and see what happens. Okay, natural point of aim. That's probably the most important part of precision shooting.
Man, repeating the one whole groups. I can't believe this thing is shooting this well. Rifle match, like I tell you. Something to be said about this stuff. Here we go. We lost one there. We had one flyer, not the end of the world. Now last but not least, our last 10 shots. And just gotta relax, can't panic. Don't want to get stressed out doing this one. We've done so well so far. All we need is 10 more shots with a good natural point of aim, good trigger pull, good follow through. And we'll see what these rifles can do from the prone, off the bag and the bipod. And there's no fancy bipods here. That's a $40 Canadian bipod. So that's probably like $15 US. And it's off Amazon, carbon fiber swivel bipod. Mike, goes to show you don't need to spend four or 500 bucks on an AccuTac or nothing. $40 Canadian, basically pesos now. Okay, our 10 shot group, here we go. Natural point of aim. That was five. That's what I figured. Can we keep it together for five more? And there we have it. So that 10 shot group looks a little bigger and the fourth five shot group looks a little bigger, but the other ones look tighter than the Bergara. But let's go measure up the groups and we'll find out exactly how we did. Well, here we have our results. So the winner of just the five shot groups is the Tika T1X point three three seven versus point three five six so very very close if we're looking only at the 10 shot group the bargara b14r point three nine one versus point five five eight and all combined the bargara b14r takes the lead by point three six three and and the tika t1x at 18 thousandths more of an of an inch at 0.381 so super super close 
both these rifles are shooting amazing with rifle match like that is some quality stuff right there so yeah that's the results well thank you very much guys for watching this video right to the very end very thankful for that and thank you all for subscribing please like the video if you liked it if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down and as always have a great weekend guys and we'll see you next week